Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Lectors. And today we got some exciting news. Retro Fighters, a developing company for controllers and other products, they've actually come out and decided to make a Dreamcast controller. And not just any Dreamcast controller, a total revamp of what the traditional Dreamcast controller is. If you're unfamiliar with Retro Fighters and why you should be excited, well, Retro Fighters had a Kickstarter project that featured a new innovation to the traditional N64 controller. Retro Fighters not only gave the N64's God awful controller, a much needed face lick, but also improved on it tenfold. Back to the Dreamcast controller. Retro Fighters are back at it again and looked at the Sega's last console and thought, what can we do to the Dreamcast controller and improve it? They're planning on improving the Dreamcast controller by adding turbo buttons, not available on the original, making more ergonomic to, and comfortable into the hands, two large shoulder buttons, easier for fighters and much like an Xbox or PlayStation 4 controller, the shoulder buttons add a little bit of more comfort as to where to place your fingers. Larger D-pad, and I found that the Dreamcast D-pad slightly elevated higher than I liked. Uh, I like it more ergonomic, closer to the controller where you can you know, roll your punches or your jabs or, or any movement, it's a little bit you know, hard and cumbersome on the thumbs, a little bit jagged and a little bit pointy on certain corners, a fully functioning VMU and jump pack slots, updated analog stick, and a 10 foot cord that's not on the bottom like the traditional Dreamcast controller where you actually have to stick it up there to actually get the controller, which you lose about six inches on that. They actually put it on the top, which is an added bonus, and they added 10 feet to it. This is a traditional six foot cord, so they added an extra four feet to it, plus being on top, which is an added bonus, which is unbelievable in itself. It's slightly more expensive than the Brawler 64 due to its time and development and the use of the memory cards and memory ports that the Dreamcast used. You can't just go to a, a company and say, manufacture this. They are something very hard to come across and very hard to make and manufacture. So Retro Fighters decided to take it upon themselves and redesign it themselves and make the jump packs and all VMUs compatible with this new controller. Their time of release to the general public who have backed the Kickstarter will be September of this year. And a monthly timeline will be updated every month. I personally am looking so forward to this. I know that Retrobit is actually making their own Dreamcast controller, which is wireless, and I'm also looking forward to that as well, and I'm hoping to do a review of that. But when I get to this controller in September, or sometime in September, maybe October, I'm gonna plan on doing, going, putting it through its paces and seeing how it holds up to the traditional Dreamcast controller. And I can't wait to have this in my hands and actually test this out for myself and let you guys know what I think. Well, anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are excited for this controller or any other new controller that are out on the market. Thanks, guys.